good afternoon students today's topic is the complex plant tissues by now you are familiar with the simple plant tissues which includes the parenchyma collenchyma and sclerenchyma that perform different functions like protection ground form ground tissue and provide the mechanical support to the plant now in case of simple tissues they are composed of single type of cells whereas the complex plant tissues can be defined as the collection of different cells that function as a single structural unit unit to perform a specific function and the examples include the xylem and phloem tissues these tissues are present in the vascular plants now we will discuss them one by one first is the xylem tissue xylem word is derived from the greek word xylos which means wood therefore xylem is also commonly known as the wood it forms the bulk of stem and roots and it forms a continuous channel throughout the plant what are the main functions of xylem the primary function of xylem is conduction conduction of water and the minerals it basically perform conduction of water and minerals from the root to the upper part of the plants that is leaves it also provides mechanical support or strength to the plant now the xylem tissue is further composed of four different type of cells which includes tracheids xylem vessels xylem fiber and lastly xylem parenchyma out of these four type of cells the first three that is tracheids vessels and the xylem fiber these are basically dead cells only the xylem parenchyma is made up of living cells we'll discuss all these four different type of cells one by one the first is the xylem tracheids the xylem tracheids are basically made up of long tubular cells with tapering ends their wall is highly thick due to deposition of lignin so they possess thick walls with deposition of lignin diagrammatically they can be represented as these are the all the border pits that are present on the walls of the tracheid elements or the tracheid cells these border pits basically provide the connectivity between the different tracheid cells these are the border pits so this is the diagram of a single tracheid cell now coming to the other properties of the tracheid elements or the tracheids they appear rounded or polyhedral in the transverse section of cross section this means when we cut the transverse section of a uh, tracheid element it will appear either rounded like this or polyhedral like this so this is the cross section view of a tracheid cell these tracheid elements form long column when placed one above the other these tracheid elements develop various types of secondary thickening and on this on and on that basis they can be of different types which are as follows the first type is annular thickening the blue color is representing the thickening of the lignin this is the example of annular thickening or it can be also called as ring like thickening now the second category is of spiral thickening it is also known as helical or helix like thickening 
The third category is it is a reticulate thickening. This is the reticulate thickening or also known as it forms a crisscross network. The fourth type of thickening is this is the clariform thickening. This type of thickening forms a ladder like pattern. Then the last category is of the pitted thickening. It is of further two types. Simple pitted that is the walls are having simple pits for the connection between the two different tracheid elements or between the different xylem elements. The second category is the bordered pit. The simple pits and the bordered pits are somewhat different in their structures. So they are categorized into two different groups. This is the tracheid element with simple pits. This is with bordered pits. Both of these are together called as pitted tracheids. Now where these uh, tracheids are present? These tracheids are mainly present in the pteridophytes, gymnosperms and few angiosperms. When coming to their function, their basic function or primary function is conduction. But they also provide mechanical support.